guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a rig rundown on the control. I thought because I've had it for about a year and a half now that it'd be quite good to give everyone a rundown on what we've done so far plus also what was done previously. So today we're going to do a bit of a rundown on everything on the patrol and also what's to come. Uh, so stay tuned. Alright, so to start with we'll do the front. Um, what we've got is just a standard Nissan bar. Um, it's worked pretty well for what I need. Uh, haven't got a winch in it, uh, but we've got a 3 dvi Oricom antenna matched with the Oricom UHF on the inside. Uh, standard number plate, standard grill, standard lights. And then we've also got a uh, fairly new bonnet protector here. The reason for that was the weather shields on the side windows are uh, both cracked. So when I was replacing them, I thought I'd make them all the same. Uh, so that's new. Now in terms of the front end, we're going to be doing a bit of a rebuild video uh, in the next coming weeks or months. Um, getting a new bull bar, new custom headlights, so the whole front end will get a bit of a revamp, uh, as well as a winch and number plates. So stay tuned for that, but we'll do a bit of a front end rebuild on the patrol. Uh, it's getting a little bit dated and I want to just upgrade and do a few things, so I'm keen for that. Okay, so on the side of the car, um, up the front we've got the bonnet hood here, which is, I'm not too sure the make or model of that, but it's just a kind of custom one for the uh, top mount intercooler. We've then also got a stainless steel 4 inch snorkel here. Uh, that runs inside to a custom air box. Uh, standard flares. Uh, we've also got sand humor towing mirrors here. So these are just cheapies off eBay, I think 220 bucks. Uh, but they do the job and they look a lot better than the factory ones. And we've also got the weather shield protectors here. Uh, just black, I think off PS4x4. Um, and they look quite nice. I'd like them a bit wider coming out from the car, but they do the job, so it's all right. All right, so we've also got some RHS sliders here. Uh, these were on the car when I bought them. I don't reckon they look too bad because they look quite neat and under the car. Um, they do the job, they're quite thick and heavy and I've um, leaned them on a couple of times and they've been fine, so um, for what they are, I think they're pretty good. Okay, so for wheels and tyres, we're running a Mickey Thompson uh, Badger ACZ in a 315 uh, The reason for that is, uh, for one, I found them on Marketplace pretty cheap. Um, they're about 80% tread and I thought it was a bargain. Um, I also prefer a tough all-terrain over a mud terrain, just because for the amount of highway dirt road I do compared to muddy stuff, uh, I think they're really good aggressive all-terrain. And then we've just got some, I uh, can't remember the brand, but some 16 inch steel rims uh, and a Neg 22 offset. And that makes it so the tires don't stick out too far. Being a 35, uh, if I went for a Neg 44, they'd probably stick out a bit and I don't want them to poke too much. Um, but yeah, really good combo. I'm loving the 35s and them. Um, and then in terms of suspension at the front here, we just got some three inch coils with some superior uh, 2.0 shocks i believe they're for set for a three inch lift and yeah they've, they were in the car when i got it uh, probably due for an upgrade in about 12 months time but at the moment they're working fine and um yeah it's really i like the ride height and pretty comfortable all right so at the front here we've got a fox steering dampener superior tie rod and drag link and we've got a buds custom fully welded uh, front diff so on the top here and also the pumpkin so that's all what's running underneath for suspension and steering wise okay so in the rear suspension we've got our uh, three inch coils again with airbag man uh, airbags in the coils um, we've also got a rear coil tower brace and that's just because the coil utes are known for the towers flexing so that's in there to stop that uh, we've also got some armada uh, remote res shocks in there i'm not sure really much about them but they were in the car when i got it so they seem to be all right for now and i don't think there's too much else under the rear suspension okay so most of you would have seen the tray build and the canopy builds um, if you want to see them in full detail 
go check them out from previous videos. At the moment I'm running my daily setup, so I've got the dog box on with the tray sides. I've also got the big canopy that can come on and off when we do big camping trips. But for my daily I've got the dog box, which this side is fully enclosed and has my fridge. So this is on all the time and I'm actually in the process of redoing my 12 volt panel here. And I'm going to be having a few more screens, lights, switches, USB charging, etc. in there. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a bit more videos on that. Um, I've then also got under tray toolboxes. Uh, this one I just keep my compressor and a few little things in there. Uh, custom mud guards that were made in it too. The rear one I've just got a hose for the water tank uh, which plugs in. Uh, tray sides that just fold down and can come off. Alright, so on this side of the tray, I've got a two fuel tank fillers. Um, we've also got the dog box. So this is the dog box for Axel. And it's also where the battery, the power management system and the inverter live. However, all the usage for that runs through that back wall onto the other side, which is why I'm redoing that 12 volt panel on that side. Uh, but it's a good space for him. It's got the little canvas here, which can roll up and he gets airflow through there. And again, we've got under tray drawer. And this side, I keep my tools. Just a little toolbox with the basic stuff. Uh, mud guard, tray sides again. And the rear one, I keep recovery gear. So just snap straps and shackles and everything like that. And that's pretty much it for the tray and canopy setup. Okay, so on top of the dog box, we found a perfectly uh, fittable solar panel. So I believe I got this from Repco. It's a DriveTech 4x4, 110 watt or 160 watt solar panel. And it's just a semi-flexible. And what I've done is I've put core flute underneath, which is then stuck to the dog box and then um, sicker flex as well to the solar panel. So it's a real slim line profile and it is really lightweight. Uh, and it runs down in through that grommet on the side of the dog box and an Anderson plug into the power management system. Okay, so inside not too much major has been done. We've got a center roof console with the Oricom head unit. We've got Iron William seat covers, Iron William steering cover, Iron William floor mat. We've got the JRP gauge, which gives me EGT boost and water temp. We've then also got the Axis head unit, which has Apple CarPlay. And we then also have switches in here. Uh, and that's about it for the inside. Okay, so in here, in the engine bay, what we've got is we've got our four inch snorkel coming to our air box and then into a five inch uh, pipe, which then gets into a reducer that four inch into the turbo. Um, as mentioned on the first video when I got this, it's a Garrett uh, 20G turbo, so it's quite large. Uh, but this is also set up for about 250 horsepower with about 30 PSI. Uh, so from that, it's got a cross-country top mount intercooler. So obviously to get that power, we've got a uh, diesel central 12 mil pump in here. Uh, which gives us enough fuel to get up. We've also got an um, external pickup back near the fuel tank um, to get that fuel up here nice and quickly. Um, and apart from that, I'm fairly sure the radiator and most of the other stuff in here is stock. Uh, I don't think anything internal has been done to the engine. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for the engine. All right guys, so the other day on Instagram, we put up a poll uh, with any questions you had about the patrol. So uh, a couple of questions we'll read out now and answer. So the first one was, what's your favorite thing about the rooftop tent? Um, I'd probably say just the comfort and the quality of the craftsmanship of it. Uh, just really nice to sleep in and just know that it's not ever gonna fall apart or get holes in it or anything like that. The second question is, what are three things you would add to the rooftop tent. Uh, firstly, I'd add a solar panel. Uh, I've already done that, but that's something you uh, definitely need. Uh, another thing, probably a mattress topper for inside. 
just to make it a little bit more comfortable. And third thing, either like a shovel on the outside or an awning or something that you can attach to the outside, that would be pretty cool uh, just to use that as a bit more storage and uh, room to keep big lengthy objects. Um, another question here is why don't you have a winch? Uh, that's the whole reason for the front end rebuild videos that we're going to be doing. Um, I didn't really want to put a winch in that standard bar. I didn't really like the look of it and I wanted to change it and I thought rather than take it off and put a new winch in that, um, I wanted to get a new bull bar and do it all in the one. Uh, so there will be a winch coming. Uh, another question is, do you like the roof center console where I've got my UHF? Uh, yes, I do like it. It's great for storing the UHF. But personally, I don't think I used it as much as I thought I would have originally. Uh, pretty much all it does is have the UHF in it. Um, people may use it for switches and for other stuff, but really, I'm not sure. It depends where you're going to have your UHF, but unless you've got it somewhere else, I probably wouldn't get one. And yeah, that's all the questions. So thanks for sending them through. And uh, if you've got any more, put them in the comment. All right, guys. So. Hope you enjoyed a bit of a rig rundown on this. I know it wasn't in too much detail, but if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them on the comments down below. Uh, in terms of future plans, so at the moment, front end rebuild for the patrol and the 12 volt panel will be kind of the next few mods that will be getting done. And then from there, not too sure, but it's an endless list of stuff that we need to do. And yeah, stay tuned and keep watching the builds. Oh, 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 oh,